Hello, today I would like to show you how to prepare a pizza dough. The, the aim of this video is not cooking or is not topping the pizza, it's just to show you how to prepare a very simple uh, pizza dough. I'm here in this, uh, well this is uh, my mother-in-law kitchen, Jeremy is uh, shooting the video. And we are in Scotland, uh, the weather is absolutely horrible, it's uh, pouring down, so today is a wet day. However, the kitchen is nice and warm. So, pizza dough. I would like, first of all, to show you something. All the pizza dough I show in the website has a 60% hydration. What does it mean? It means uh, that uh, it's a medium consistency dough, firm consistency. Because the dough could be dry, stiff, uh, firm, it could be slack, uh, very soft, uh, but my pizza dough are always firm dough. And that means 60% hydration. I work out my dough with a baker's percentage, which is a very, very useful way to do things. Because you can scale up and down any recipe without any problem. No matter if you have 1 kilo of flour, 10 kilos or 100 kilos. And this is how it works. The flour is always 100%. All the other ingredients are a percentage of the flour. So, in this case, the water is 60% of the flour, the yeast is 3% of the flour and the salt is 2% of the flour. In this way, you can work your recipe in your own way. You may be having a family of two people and you want to use only 200 grams of flour. In that case, you know the water is always 60% of the flour and so on. So this is called baker's percentage. Now, let's do the dough. I'm not using the electric mixer, it's everything by hand, okay, so it's just uh, simple. We take uh, the salt, and here I'm not discussing about the ingredient in terms of quantity, it, I'm discussing in general terms. If you want the exact quantity, you check the website, I have three or four uh, pizza dough recipes, and you choose one, the one you like it. So, here is just uh, to show you how to do things. Now, salt, okay, and then we give a mix, and then we take uh, the fresh yeast. The fresh yeast, I'm not going to melt in tepid water, I just crumble the yeast in this way. Look at that. Uh, and Jeremy is just shooting here in the bowl, okay, so this is the yeast. Crumble inside. You can also work the yeast with your hand, your fingers. Look at that. Okay, just break it down in a very, very tiny pieces. Okay, and now the rule number one add the water gradually. Don't add the water altogether. Why? Today is a very wet day, there's lots of humidity in the air. So the flour absorbs this humidity. And maybe today we don't need as much water as uh, 300 mils, okay? Maybe we need uh, uh, a little less. It's just because of the flour absorb humidity. If you live in a very dry area or in the summertime, maybe you need all the water or you need to add extra water. Also, there's a big difference between flours. If you use a plain flour, there's less proteins, maybe sometimes 10, 10.5 percent proteins and uh, with this quantity of flour it should be okay to use the 300 mils of water but if you use a 12 percent uh, flour uh, with 12 percent proteins uh, maybe you need uh, a bit more extra water because uh, it will absorb more water so let's see how it goes so I add the water and I start mixing okay Add the water, start to give a good mix, like that, and then more water, and I leave a bit of water here, so now I want to see how it goes. There you go, I make a mess, 
Well, I have to clean the kitchen afterwards. Otherwise, my mother in law will bang a rolling pin on my head. There you go. Can you see? Now, the water is nearly all absorbed into the flour, but definitely I need all the water. There you go. So, let's uh, prepare the dough like that. And keep working. Now, second rules. Never, never add flour. If the dough is sticky, fine. Okay, the dough is sticky, no problem. Keep working the dough. Okay, and remember, this is a firm consistency dough. So, the easy method to knead this dough is the press and fold. Press and fold, press and fold. You use the palm of your hand. You press down, push forward, and then fold it back. Press down, push forward, fold it back. Press down, forward, and back. And give it a quarter of a turn. One, two, and a quarter of a turn. One, two, and a quarter of a turn. And don't add flour. Why? We need to give uh, the dough the time to develop the gluten. When the gluten is developed, you will see that the dough will become drier and drier and drier at the right consistency. Okay? Don't be worried about having your sticky hand. Keep working. Okay? Now, I'm going to work this dough for 10 minutes. So Jeremy can switch off the camera and see you in 10 minutes time. Okay?